weeks. I think I'll end the experiment right now, as you can see here, from 82, now averaging about position seven. So position seven's amazing. And that's just been within a week. So I decided to take on the idea of taking a struggling Google business account, one that's just been reinstated again after 108 days, you may have seen that video. And I wanna get it thriving again, getting it like a phoenix from the ashes, rising through, and then beginning to bring in decent quality customers. So I was determined to turn it around and show that even the most battered and bruised businesses can rise again from those ashes. So I had a secret weapon, the robots. They were gonna help me too to get this business back up and running. So with ChatGPT by my side, I knew I could turn things around. So I decided to document the whole process, to record bits as I go, so that you can then see exactly what happened. I've got no idea how it's gonna turn out, but hopefully, in a couple of weeks time, we will see some progress from the efforts I make in the next few weeks. So I invite you to follow my journey and also then to try and do this with your business too and see if you can turn yours around as quickly as I try to turn mine around. So will you join me in this quest now? Well, if you're going to join me, just put a yes down below, put a comment, give this a like, and that helps the algorithm also help other businesses like yours find this video. So let's jump straight in. So first of all, we're gonna add our LaRue window cleaning business to Surfer Local. So we go to Surfer Local and there we can then just add it in and we can see that uh, it's then picking up for window cleaning services. That's what I've just added as a key word. And you can see it's still got some good uh, ratings. So number one shows it's locally number one in that area. These are all pinpointing exactly where it would uh, rank if you were standing in those spots that are kind of within a five to 10 mile radius. But what we want to do is we want to add other keywords as well. And ChatGPT will help us to do this. So I'm going to look for other options as well. So gutter cleaning is suggesting, and we can add that too. And we see the average position there is 27. So there's uh, no chance of us being found for gutter cleaning at the moment. And we can pick other ones as well. And it shows us roughly how many searches are found in the area that we're hunting down. And I'm going to go to chat GPT and this is now going to give us some AI input as well to give us that opportunity to just see what other keywords people are using to find local window cleaners. So I just put in here keywords uh, for a local window cleaner. Uh, let's just see what it comes up with. So here it gives us a list of about 10 keyword phrases. So these are things that people put into the search engine to find window cleaners. So we've got window cleaning services, I think, or Commercial window cleaning, that's another one we've just added. We could try local window cleaning services as well. We're local window cleaning. So what we're actually doing here is we're just making sure we're monitoring everything as we go. Once we monitor it, we then can see whether there's been any impact based on what we're doing with ChatGPT. So local window cleaning does really well. So we've done well on that particular keyword in the past. It seems to be picking it up still gives us an average position of what it's saying, roughly two at the moment, maybe three. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is look for ways in which we can just clear some of the cards as well. That's always an important thing to do when we log into Google Business. So here it's just saying about services. So again, it's important to just check what services Google's been giving you and are they correct? Do they fit in? Are they relevant to your business? So we're now gonna just uh, go through the rest of these cards, just to make sure that they're all cleared as well. If they don't apply, then obviously you can dismiss these cards as well. So just go through each one, make sure that uh, you can do what needs to be done. I don't want local ads, so I'm not gonna go for this today. Uh, and as you'll find, local ads pretty much um, don't bring in as much business as a well-maintained Google business profile. But there it mentions about getting more reviews, which we'll try and do as well, which will add to increasing the benefits and likelihood of us ranking higher. If you go to messages, and this can now automate uh, any questions and answers you've got. So what types of questions would people be adding? Well, first of all, we want to give them a welcome message because if they just join us, we want to just let them know that we're pleased they found us. So I've just asked uh, ChatGPT for some questions and answers, but also, what would be helpful as a welcome message uh, is just what I've put in. And there it just gives a nice little welcome message to the business as well. So you get some ideas. Obviously you need to make it so it's a bit more bespoke, it fits in with your business and also needs to make sense as well. So just take that 
as a basis. It's got to be a lot better than just uh, how can I help? Uh, you notice that we've got a limitation as well. So we need to just bear in mind it's only got 120 characters um, that we need to put in there. But I can just delete out and add the business name and that'll make a little bit more of a improved professional welcome message. So you might want to do that on your messages. But the main thing is as well, is I've added uh, frequently asked questions. And what happens is Google knows that if you're asking particular questions, um, these are types of questions that people ask for local window cleaners. So I've just asked ChatGPT to give me some ideas. It's given me about four different questions and answers here. And all I'm doing now is just putting in the question, putting in the answer, and just adding them into the messages area. So if someone asks a question that's similar, um, not only have we now got questions that are relevant that chat, chat GPT has given us, but also we've got questions that then the intelligence of Google messaging is it will suggest the answer based on a question that's similar or in the same vein as some of these ones. And so obviously I can just adjust them briefly and make sure that they fit correctly. So you notice here's some questions and answers. Uh, you are allowed to ask your own questions. This is how I got the questions and answers. So using those keywords provided, give me some questions uh, that include these and the answers. That's what I'm after. And uh, that's how I got those questions for the messages. But I'm also going to use these questions and answers that are being churned out as a basis for frequently asked questions on Google. So obviously you're going to do exactly the same for your business. So there'll be different questions and answers for your business. And you might want to just specifically put in there perhaps one or two extra keywords that are relevant. People will perhaps ask certain questions. So you could ask, give me three or four questions and answers based on, and then the specific product or service that you know people keep asking about. So you are allowed to just put in your own question. You can then obviously doctor it slightly to make more sense. So I'm going to include uh, the branding as well. And I'm just gonna make sure that makes absolute sense. And you can see Google's already trying to answer the question with some intelligence based on what's on the website and previous posts that you've put in. So this is a really clever, intelligent way in which Google is going to use this input. If you don't input these questions and answers, then Google has nothing to work with. And that means then your customers aren't really getting satisfactory answers straight away. So this is all about good customer communication and it's really simple to do and it just takes 10 minutes really. So I'm just gonna work through all of these. And just another little tip is if you wanted a particular question to appear at the top of these, then just give it a like and ask a few other perhaps people that have got accounts as well to give it a like. And once it gets beyond two or three likes from different accounts, it will then be served as the mandatory question that's asked on questions and answers. And sometimes it'll even show in a map or in a Google result. So it's just, again, you can control it in case the question or answer that's being asked isn't one that's that relevant and that's being shown first. So you've got a bit of control over that if you know what you're doing. So we've also got an area of products. Uh, if you've got products, then obviously you want to, uh, again, make sure that they've got a good description with them. Uh, we haven't got products, but we have got services. You notice a lot of services don't have anything other than just the name of the service. And you've got, again, 300 characters to play with here. You can even put a price for a service if you want. So again, going to chat GPT, uh, I can ask it to write me uh, something that's compelling regarding a service or a product. So I've put here, write a compelling paragraph. Now, because I'm using the same chat, it's got context. It knows what these keywords are that I was aiming for at the beginning. It knows what the questions and answers are that we've just asked. And now it's writing me a paragraph. It's probably gonna to be too much for 300 characters. So you can always say to it, uh, reduce it to 300 characters, and it can do that if you want. But again, I'm just gonna read through this, make sure it fits in with the branding, that it makes sense with what I'm talking about, that it is actually uh, helpful to a customer. So again, just doctor it, but it's a good starting block to know what to write about. And again, you might want to just work through these. So solar panels, is another area, solar panel cleaning. And as you work through these ones, probably just do four or five uh, every so often. Don't do all of them because it may just um, spark an alarm bell on Google. Because uh, again, it's unlike you'd write so many in one turn. 
as always, always say try and keep it as natural as possible. So the way to view this AI, this chat bot, this uh, chat GPT, is not to go overboard, but use it as a basis to just get on top of your business. Now, here are some of the uh, keywords that we're actually ranking for and we're going to be checking up on. So some of them we're doing really well in, naturally, because we've obviously worked hard in the past and Google's not forgotten the work put in to this business, but some we really haven't ventured into yet. And so that's it, the key, isn't it, is to try and see whether I can use these keywords in the next few weeks to see if there's any improvement based on just these few things I'm doing today. And I'll keep an eye on things as well. So if I was to do a post, I could put, write a compelling paragraph on, and I'm gonna do window cleaning service. And again, it just gives me another basis there to write a post on. And then of course I can put uh, an image with it too. Uh, again, I want to rewrite it, rephrase it, and just see how often, so you can see there, you can see it's mentioned a few times in that paragraph, window cleaning service, if I do a search for it. So it just shows it's using the keyword, um, but naturally as well, just a couple of times is quite good for a paragraph. So I can go to add an update, I can put that information in, I can read through it, make sure it makes sense, use it as a basis for the post. And I'm also gonna stick in a few things like the area that we're based in, Bournemouth Christchurch area. And this is just making it again, appeal to local people when they read that opening sentence. And then just add a couple of photos that look relevant. I can preview it, just see if that looks okay. There you go, immediately it appears. And we're caught up. And that took, what, five to 10 minutes. So that's great news because I can just see now it's already um, taken place. It's just taken about a week. So I think I'll end the experiment right now. As you can see here, it's um, already from 82. It's uh, now averaging about um, position seven. So <laughs> position seven is amazing. And that's just been within a week. So this definitely works. You know, ChatGPT is so good if you just use it the right way. And if you've not realized yet how powerful ChatGPT is, then you need to watch this video too. It's gonna to show you how you can use it on your business so that you get maximum profit.